Hello, welcome back to Took Scrap Table. Welcome everyone to my channel, and uh, thank you so much for um, everyone who uh, been with me for a long time. And uh, thank you for the new one that just joined me. Um, I gained so much new sapi over the past couple weeks, and thanks. That's thanks to Wendy for showcasing a gift that I sent to her. And uh, I hope everybody uh, doing well and uh, I'm doing good. It's been super crazy PC trying to renovate the house and <laughs> try to fill the orders. <laughs> yes, and I still getting so many order for the ephemera, ephemera folder. Uh, f right now, I um, if anybody wants to put in more order, I have to um, ask if they can wait longer because we are just like just start to rip up the carpet. So we are putting down the hardwood floor upstairs, and hopefully we can sell the house next uh, spring so we can move somewhere. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, anyway, as promised, um, to come and share with you how I buy my peekaboo um, spine. Um, the this is the book that I got for for my uh, for a present from my husband on our anniversary. <laughs> he asked what I want, and I want a books and a deep fryer. <laughs> no air fryer. So um this this is the book i i i don't know you you, you all probably have have this already but uh this is um i got this from amazon and uh i just bookmark the this binding <laughs> where did it go here here you go um this is the the idea that i got it from it's um showing like um a spine here but i just thought ah that's so cool so i just got that idea and adapted to to my my liking or my own <laughs> invention but um i use the slow stitch pieces and two pieces I use um, fabric glue to glue it on and then make sure um, you have a lot of space so it because it's gonna hold a lot of weight so um, I just thought after I done this I just thought oh it would be so cool to put like brads here um, so it help holding better it might be better to hold but this is like super strong i made it from old book cover i so i peel off um the paper that covered and then just left a chipboard inside so it's like really strong and then painted and collage and spray seal the the piece and then glue the slow stitch piece together so uh, you can make anything you you want right to decorate this and uh, the spine just s s uh, I think it's a two two and a quarter where is my one yeah almost two and a half uh, on these in so and an inside piece I just glued this ticking um cover it cover the messy stitches <laughs> and also um uh help to reinforce the spine to the these so, and, and inside. So I did a lot of collage on inside so I didn't put any pockets here because I don't want to cover my collage. Yeah, so and uh this way because it's I wasn't gonna make um the closure but because of the alligator mouth because I asked, can't stop adding so I kind of add um, uh, eyelid here 
in eyelid at the back so use the Jewelry Clash, I think it's called Clash, right? And to to do this, and it's a hummingbird. Not sure if it's showing. Yes, and the front cover. I just did some simple um, envelope to it, and with some um, magnet strip. I mean magnet here. I I put a really tiny magnet, so it's not as strong. And in here, an, an envelope that open up, and then just journaling card with my collage with the um, piano roll here. So, just simple envelope, and then just a little click on the magnet so it doesn't uh, flip flop. And here, I, this. Um, it's from Victorian Design, uh, this paper, and the cover, it just already have the word on, and then I, so I just put Tim Holtz book uh, plate here, and then attached with a glossy accent from inside and the brush all over, just to add to it, and uh, yeah, just decorated with lace and button and some seal stamp, I mean wax seal stamp. And as promised, I will show you how I attach the signature to to the cover. So the th this has three signatures that I uh, already decorated and all that. So the first of all, you um, just use the three whole pamphlet, simple three whole pamphlet to attach the signature together on the middle part. So when when we attach, we only attach the top part here and then the bottom part. So that's how how I attach it. And so let's do it. I never done this in front of the camera. <laughs> Forgive me if I swear or something because I have to use a sharp needle because we have to sew um a stitch along this spine so we'll see how that uh, I should have thimble but uh, anyway so let's see it's exactly the same method that um, we are um, what do you call the the three hole pamphlet uh, style oops sorry let's see I should uh, let's do this. So I don't lose the thread. <laughs> Try to be in frame. So here, um, because if we go up like directly to the next hole, it's gonna show your stitch, right? Instead, so we kind of hide it, like pretend you're doing like a slow stitching up the spine. So your stitch will blend in with the other uh, slow stitch and that way you won't see it. You will see it but you won't you don't know that this is the sig the stitch that holds the signature. So we keep an eye on the dot. I'm not quite where I want it to be. There. Now go up. 
through this hole and skip the middle hole and go down and make sure I'm gonna try to show to see if it show the dot and there it is again same technique just pretend you do slow stitching up it doesn't have to be perfect so that's why I love the slow stitching it's my I mean in something I have an OCD and it's something <laughs> I just let it go wow <laughs> Now try to go up the same hole and there we go. Oops. See I and now we just tighten it and it. I doubled the thread here because it need to be super strong. So we do see that and now you won't even see the the stitches because it's so blend in. So now we do the bottom, and uh, I will continue to do the rest of it. So I will put a music on, and I will fast forward um, the process. Just before I start to do that, I just this is the. This um, thread, I think I mentioned before, I it's a nylon, super strong. That um, they use these to uh, uh, to do the garland that decorated in the temple and all that. And I bought it back from Thailand, and it's super strong. So it's so small, and I mean it's very skinny, but it's super strong. So I will run through the bee wax just so it um, deal with it. It easy to deal with, and also it doesn't cut into your paper too much because um, the tiny thread is really sharp, right? Because as you can see, you get cut from the thread all the time. So the wax would help dulled it. So I will double and uh, from here I will put music on and speed it up.
Okay, I think it's done. See how <laughs> alligator mouth is it, it is. So that's how I uh, attached the signature to this spine. I think it's it's not that a secret or anything, but I think it just needs um, patience here. It's hard to go through um, fabric. So this is really quite thick um, um, piece. So to go through, it's kind of hard. So you, that's why you need a sharp needle to to sew these. So and let's see how these will open up. So this is the. I use a uh, paper from um, Tracy Fox and uh, Artie Mays, and this is the <laughs> my this is from my digital kit. The wallpaper from the I mean the envelope from wallpaper. They are so print out so nice. And I'm gonna add some lace tab here and add some beads here and there and she ready to go to her new home thank you erica for ordering these and sorry for taking such a long time to get it done <sighs> it's been crazy <laughs> but i'm so happy that she's now complete well not complete until i add the bling um, and i'll send her off tomorrow I I might leave these like these or or let's see and then you can cut it off <laughs> you like to decorate it anyway sorry I didn't leave any room for you to decorate and uh, so yeah so this is how I did the peekaboo spine <laughs> If you want to give it a try, maybe try with one or two signature and um, thinner one. It might be easier for for sewing in the signature than this thick one. And it's and the, the difficult part is that you have to decorate it unless you don't want to sew it sew anything um, to the to the journal. Then you could just uh, s attach the blank signature might be easier than the already decorated because I have dangling here and there so get caught so it's kind of hard and uh, another important fact that you have to have a really strong thread because you really need to tuck because if you have loose stitch then um, your signature may not be like firm so, and this is the pocket that I have these, but you can put these inside, but um, for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And this is to add the tab for me to know that I need to add tabs. And um, it has some um, tie. Sorry, I should show. I just use some um, what I have left to from Tracy Fox um, design team project that I did. Um, I did the showcase uh, in June. I, I think it was Ju June or July, early of this month, I did the project for Tracy. It's the Herbalist, I think. And then Erica saw it and she asked if I can make her one. And I say yes, <laughs> because I have um, material left from the project. So that's perfect. Try to use up what I already have. So this is 
considering a flip through as well. <laughs> yeah, so. I use a lot of my four ta <laughs> vintage tape <laughs> in this. And I even did this tiny notebook, notepad, whatever you want to call. And some flip. And this is from my uh, bicycle digital kit. It is so cute. I love those bike and uh, some full postcard that I print out from the Library of Congress. I just put in the search for church and then it came up. It's so pretty. It's and this is just an extra journaling spot. And uh, Edith Holden full postcard. And more of packed and then tickets, old and new. <laughs> It's just a tax spot. Collage. And this is the one of the digital kit from my shop. And this tag I made it using images from uh, biodiversity library or something that I download these images from and my eco paper on the back just um, to let everybody know that I am leaving Etsy it just gives me grief <laughs> so I won't be putting a new item on my Etsy so I am looking at the zip bed at the moment I know list at the paper project used that website so I am um, I like the price and I like how clean it look um, so I don't know if it would be easy um, for my customer I also um, I mean I'm gonna do f for journal I'm gonna do flip through my journal and then if you see my video um, I will put the price on the description box and if you see it, you like it, you can contact me and I can send you PayPal invoice. Um, and if you're in Canada, I c we can do direct transfer or whatever is, is suitable. That way, just cut off the middleman so I can, you know, offer a better price to my my uh, buyer my customer like you know <sighs> I'm so I don't want to go through <laughs> Etsy his <laughs> shoes uh, just give me headache um, anyway um, whatever in the store now it will stay there until like it expire um, and I will like update again with the new platform that I will use to sell for sale and um, yeah and I would prefer sell directly um, if you see anything you want me to make or anything like that um, it's but um, right now I, I can't um, accept any new custom order because I'm trying to focus on the house so I will only work f uh, on uh, team design project so that would be um, the journal that I will work on from now and I am working on um, Susan Taylor Brown uh, journal right now um, I choose chocolate from her digital kit so 
I just prepared a cover. I I took a Nick the Booksmith course on tome tome um, techniques. So this is gonna be the style for the journal that I am working on. <sighs> Next, after I done all the folio <laughs> um, orders, so thank you so much for understand and waiting for the folio. Um, it will be mailed out next early next week. So today is my husband's birthday, and then Saturday. So today I'm I'm celebrating with him, and then Saturday the girls coming out to celebrate. So I'm gonna be crazy busy, <laughs> and then hopefully I have Sunday Monday to work on the folio and mail out maybe Wednesday mid midweek latest would be thursday <laughs> sorry <laughs> i keep pushing thank you so much everyone for come and join me and uh, share your time with me and we'll see you soon and thanks take care bye